So welcome to day two. Today we're going to dispel the second myth. And I must admit, today's myth is one of those things that I see around all over the internet and really frustrates me because it's misleading so many people, which means that they are throwing away so much of their precious time creating the wrong content. Now, listen up, because today's myth is how to base your ideal persona. So the myth is basing your ideal client persona on one real person. You're going to find people out there that will tell you to base your ideal client analysis on one real person or one real client. Now, I do agree that it should be based in reality. However, if you base it only on one person, you're really risking a big, big chunk of your information is going to be only related to that one person. The solution, although it is time consuming, is very, very worthwhile. What you need to do is actually make sure that you're basing it on at least five real people. There were times for complex products where I have actually based my ideal client persona on 15 different real people. The idea here is to look at what they actually do online, you know, what they read and things they're interested in and, you know, how they behave online, their struggles, and then find the commonalities. So it is important that it's rooted in reality, but if you do it only on one, you're going to risk being strayed away by that person's personal opinion and maybe personal taste. Whereas if you spread it over 5, 10, 15 people, then you are going to start to uncover patterns and those patterns are gold. So if you already have a client base, it's going to be perfect for you. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can find one or two people that are your ideal clients already from your client database. And then you can maybe extend that list by finding people like them or people that you would like could be your clients or maybe people that you already know are buying what you are selling from somebody else. They also are your ideal client. So that's the myth busted for today. Do not ever base your ideal client research on simply one person because that person will mislead you. What you're looking at is patterns and these patterns can only come out if you look at different people. Now, if you're looking to tweak um, your ideal client persona after watching this video, or maybe you haven't done it yet because you're not, you haven't started planning 2018 yet, I'd like to invite you to the workshop happening next Saturday. And this workshop will have um, the planning. So we will go through the planning for 2018. So whether you're creating blog posts, um, images, infographics, podcasts, audio files, videos, whatever you're creating, we're going to create the plan for it. A plan based on an ideal client, of course. So when you register at stephaniefiteni.com slash masterclass, the first thing you're going to receive is a little exercise that will help you improve and clarify your ideal client persona, which is going to become the basis of our plan. So if you haven't registered yet, go to stephaniefitani.com slash masterclass and tomorrow join me so that we can actually bust myth number three.